everyone John here uh, with ready player and <laughs> hi everyone John here with ready player movies and welcome back to a brand new video um yes I'm in the car something different for a little change um it's my day off from work obviously as you as you could probably tell I always do these videos on my days off I'm just gonna put the wind down a little bit turn everything off there we go that can be turned that fan turned off right okay we're good probably get the sound of some cars coming out yep like I say I'm in I'm in the car um I'm actually having what you could say brunch right now with my Mackies as you, as you saw as you saw just before there I'm on the way to Carlisle. Um, I've decided that after after my day yesterday, I had my second vaccination on. I had my second vaccination on Monday. Um, I felt like I'd been hit by a bus yesterday, and it, I just felt absolutely awful. Today's a bit different. Feel a li feel better than what I did. Thankfully. Um, I think it's it's kind of working. It's it's kind of working. It's magic. Now, um, still got a, a few weeks off yet before it actually does actually start to sort itself out. But anyway, yeah. Um, oh, excuse me. Had a nice little morning today. Actually, I've been. I had a little chat with Jim Jam Movies. Or old Jim's. Or old. I had a pretty good morning actually. I woke up browsing through the Facebook feed to find James Millership from Jim Jam Movies um, doing a live stream. So I jumped in there, had a little chat with, had a little live chat with him, um, and all was all has been really good. Um, now, I'm, as I said, I'm heading through. I'm heading through to Carlisle now. I'm actually only maybe a mile and a half. Um, I'm actually maybe only maybe a mile away now, so like I said, I stopped to have to have my break to have my have my breakfast, um, and I'm going to HMV. I'm going to have a look and see what the title what titles they have on the two for fifteen offer on the on the premium on the premium collection that that they've got there. So yeah. I'll probably pop into CEX as well to see what they have. Um, I don't know. Again, recording wise, it's going to be pretty sketchy, as I've already said before. The only place that I do not would let me do it. The only, well, saying the only place, the only place where I am allowed to do any kind of recording if I do go through there is the place in Kendall where we went, where we went a couple of videos ago. Uh, so I really have no clue what I'm going to do. I am thinking about getting them spy glasses, the pot that uh, I am thinking about getting them spy glasses, the poly got, you know. Um, if 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 it comes to it, I am going to get some. But anyway, okay, guys. So let's. Um, I'm going to finish up. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to finish these up, and um, I'll see you hopefully in HMV. Eventually. Well, guys. That. Uh, I'm on my way out of Carlisle. As you can tell, 
Um, wasn't too bad actually. Uh, obviously, obviously, couldn't get any recording as per usual. Um, here in Carlisle, in there, in all of the media stores. Um, did pick up some items in HMV. CEX didn't really have anything that was really worth picking up other than one item which was the 30th uh, which was the 4k um, 30th anniversary of Total Recall which was going for 62 pounds and I thought and I thought that was a little steep but considering that it's the 4k 30th anniversary edition I thought it was actually not too bad considering the fact that I did actually yeah uh, considering the fact that I did actually very quickly look up on the internet how much it was um, second hand which came in at a nice hundred and twenty pound so I can kind of justify the 62 that, that, that CEX were actually yeah were actually wanting for it so what am I going to do now well I'm not going back to Keswick anyway let's put it that way I'm going to head to Workington to see what their CEX has in store as well and I might pop into their HMV as well to see what else they have on that premium collect on that premium collection. So hopefully with a little bit of luck you might see some recording you might see some recording in Workington. So until then guys I will see you in a second which at uh, this at this rate will be about an hour in my time right guys so I've landed in Workington um, about an, roughly about 45 minutes later on um, okay so let's um, uh, uh, let's head into town and see if I can get any kind of recording and in HMV we go so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one have a quick look in Poundland. Okay everyone, so obviously you can see that I'm now actually back in the car and I'm heading heading back heading back home to Keswick. Um HMV was a little bit of a bust. Um <laughs> I wouldn't say a bust because they've always got loads of stuff in there. It's just down to what you fancy picking up from there. Um but in terms of what they had on on, on offer on the BIM collection as well, it's exactly the same as the one in Carlisle. So no, um, nothing new there, really. Should I should have really expected that to be honest. However, I did find um, a title in CEX, and I didn't actually film myself going into the store. Did go in, and I found and I found three. I found three titles in there. Poundland. What can I say? What can I say? Um, just the usual crap in there. Um, unfor unfortunately, not even worth getting the camera out for it. So, yeah, that's been that's been my day. So, like uh, uh, like I said, uh, like I said, I'm on my way back home obviously so we'll get back and we'll round up what I've, I've picked up along with the stuff uh, along with some stuff that uh, I've bought from the last two or three weeks so see you in a moment okay everyone so now that we're back at the hotel obviously we can start going through some of the stuff that we've had, uh, that I've actually bought today. Um, I've got a separate lot of stuff as well that I've I've picked up from a couple of weeks ago, so we're going to go through those as well. So it might as well be a monthly roundup of stuff that I've actually bought. So we'll start with what we got 
we'll start with the stuff that I got today basically so let's grab my bag <clears throat> and we'll start with the stuff that I actually got from CEX first so right okay there we go got them love that find love that find okay so the first one that I actually got was actually the last one that I picked up off the shelf in 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 CEX in Workington I was actually quite surprised that someone that someone actually wanted to trade it in because um it's one of those things it, it it's a it's a kind of a staple in a British movie in a British movie collection um you would sort of expect expect it to be in amongst someone somebody's collection when uh, with regards to the creator of of the show because he gave us the likes of chicken run uh which was his his major breakthrough in in the in the anim, in movie animation uh but before he did chicken run he did wallace and gromit um from and and this is nick park uh for those people who don't know and uh one of his most famous ones out of this is that was the other bag is the wrong trousers now this comes with a four in a in, in a four movie set so we've got here as you can see there we've got a grand day out the wrong trousers which is the one i've just mentioned um a close a close shave and a matter of loaf and death these are really really good movies and the animation is uh you're coming to expect it, it is stop go animation but it is done so well it's absolutely amazing it really is uh dialogue in it is excellent storytelling is absolutely it, is brilliant as well the only one that isn't on this that isn't on here which is probably my favorite one is um oh dear 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 i have forgot my ears as well uh curse of the curse of the were rabbit that one makes me laugh out loud curse of the were rabbit if you haven't if you haven't if you haven't even heard of it go and source it out because it really is worth watching it's it's if I had, um, I'll probably do a ranking on these. It's, I probably will do a ranking on these at some point. I'm going to give. I'm going to watch these fairly soon. Uh, probably within the next seven to ten days, maybe, because I'm in the mood for a bit of Wallace and Gromit anyway. But yeah, I'm so glad to have this in the collection. It's coming at six. It's coming at, at at a nice six pounds as well, which I was quite, which I was quite surprised at. I thought it would have been a little bit more, but. Hey ho, the cheaper the better. And next up, we've got um, we've got here a Bette Midler and Sarah Jessica Parker and somebody else whose name is hidden behind the sticker. I shall take that off. Uh, you probably know what it is. It did actually get a it got a special release last was it last year or the year before. And uh, we've got it here, uh, Hocus Pocus. Uh, not seen this for years. Not seen this for absolute years. Uh, really, really liked it as well. So I thought I haven't got it in. I haven't got it in the collection. Thought I'd pick it up. Great movie. Great, great movie. And the next one that I've got is is the movie Time After Time. Now me and my boss at work were actually talking about this last week because I was I was talking about a refer a reference to uh, the time machine in in the first Gremlins movie, and he brought this movie up, um, which I had to wrap my brains around. And I, I knew I'd heard of it. I knew I'd heard of it. Heard of it. But I couldn't quite remember the story around it, and this is basically about Jack the Ripper and and uh, and and the and the chances that he that H. G. Wells uh, was the man trying to bring Jack the Ripper down, um, which is where the story of this film comes in. Now, and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to read the 
the, the prologue from the back of this because I don't really remember much about the film because um, it's been that long since I've actually seen it. So London 18, 1893 is home to a killer with a macabre nickname and also to a visionary genius who would write the time machine. So it's basically around the point where where H.G. Wells was writing the actual story. Um, it kind of goes back to the film In the Heart of the Sea with Chris Hemsworth where he, the story that he tells to the author that would eventually write Moby Dick. Um, so yeah, that's what basically this is This is like. It's a, it's a similar sort of premise to In the Heart of the Sea. Um, but what, yeah, so... Also, to a visionary genius who would write the time machine, but what if H.G. H.G. Wells' invention wasn't fiction? Um, and what if Jack the Ripper escaped capture, fleeing his own time to take refuge in hours with H.G. Wells himself in pursuit? So that's basically the whole the whole purpose. That's basically the whole premise of this movie. It's H.G. Wells um, on the hunt for Jack the Ripper, which which evidently um which evidently is the story of the the, the time machine in a in a in a different in a different perspective um it's a really interesting concept and like i say it's been done again later on a lot later on because this is from 1979 in the heart of the sea i think was in 2016 i think it was or 2015 something like that but yeah it's a really interesting film and if you haven't seen this i do actually recommend you watch it because it is absolutely thrilling it's a really really good movie so and it stars um uh what's her name Mary Steenburgen from Back to the Future Part Three. She was she was Clara Clayton, if I remember correctly. Uh, so yeah, time after time, everybody. And those are the those are the CEX buys. So now we're going on to the HM HMV a lot. And I was like I said earlier on in the video, I was I was talking to um, I was talking to I was talking to James on. On Facebook, on Facebook Live, he did a live video this morning. He did a live video this morning, and uh, he was asking me if I was going to be hitting up HMV for the for the premium collection, for the premium collection off of on the two for fifteen. And I said I might just because uh, recently I've not been feeling too good because of my second vaccination that I had on Monday. I, I felt very groggy yesterday. Um, and and I, and now that I'm feeling a bit now that I'm feeling better from that today, I thought I'm gonna go out and get some fresh air and uh, sort myself out a little bit. So this is this is me doing thing and that. So anyway, right. So from HMV, I've got four title. I've got four titles from that premium collection. But first off, I have actually. Uh, I went and bought the new DC animated movie, which is The Long Halloween Part 1 from uh, Batman. I didn't even know this was in the works. I didn't know it was coming out. I know, knew nothing about this until a review came until a review came out on it last night. And I thought, right, I'm going to get it. So now that I have it, I will probably do some sort of review on it at some point uh, uh keep an uh, keep an eye out if you can if i get one out i get one out if i don't i don't you know i mean reviews on the channel are, are very few and far between but i'm going to try and, i'm going to try and get some dished out in the next couple of months or so something like that but yeah looking forward to watching this guys um if you've seen it let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below that'd be really great um really interested to see what you think uh, what you think of it if you've watched it already okay so now for the um now for the premium collection now for the premium collection blu-rays so what what did you think I actually bought from this? Do you do you know? I'll give you maybe a few seconds to have a good think. And I'll have a drink of my coke.
و علاماته Excuse me. If you've been following if you've been following me for a while, I think you might have a bit of an idea as to what I got if you know what was if you know what's there. And on offer, of course. Okay, I think I gave me enough time. Right, okay. <laughs> right. So the first item I've bought on this offer is a film that you would expect me to have already, but I don't. This got a remake in nineteen eighty two by and ended up becoming one of the greatest cult horror films ever made. This is the original from Howard Hawks The Thing from Another World. I've only ever seen this once and I really really enjoyed the concept the original concept of the movie before John Carpenter got his hand before John Carpenter got the director's chair on the on on the remake um I actually thought this was really good um considering for its time well, I was saying considering for its time it was very much ahead of the game um I mean now when you look at it it is a little bit it is it is a little bit cheesy as you would come to expect from a movie from I think from nineteen fifty three I think it was. Oh uh, uh could be very wrong about that. Nineteen fifty one I wasn't too far off there actually. Um yeah this is a really good movie and I'm actually really pleased to have this in the in, in the collection because like I say it's a very it's a very it's a very interesting movie. It takes the more scientific approach to this rather than the horror rather than the horror that that John Carpenter gave us. Uh, so it makes an it makes an interesting movie having that science behind what is going on in the film. So yeah, really pleased to have really pleased to have that in my really pleased to have that in the collection. And next up. Got a movie that I know and knew nothing about until I saw it today. And this is a Michael Crichton movie um, with Albert Finney and James Coburn. Looker. Um, now, no idea. Absolutely no idea about this film. But I love Michael Crichton's movies. My, um, the stuff that he's written, like, the stuff that he's written for the screen, uh, such as Westworld. Um, obviously Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, um, Sphere, among others as well. Uh, but this is one that has completely gone whew, over the top of my head. Know nothing about this film whatsoever. So because it's a Michael Crichton film, I knew I had to pick it up and check it out. I knew I had to pick it up. Looking forward to watching this. I might actually put this on when I finish recording this video. So well finished recording it finished putting it up uh, editing it and putting it up on the youtube yeah okay guys so that is looker if you if any of you lot out there have watched this let me know what you think of it in the comments as well uh you know this would be this would be great to find out anything about really i mean i've looked at i've looked at the back of it but it i looked at the back of it and it looks interesting so yeah looker Uh, right, okay, next, Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy movie, and you will kind of expect me to, back, you, some of you might expect me to pick this up, and and because it's Eddie Murphy, you probably know what I have picked up, I've got here, The Golden Child, uh, I've only ever seen this the once, and the only, I've, well, saying only seen it once, not seen it all the way through, the only bit that I have seen in this film, believe it or not, is the scene where the villain turns into the turns into that into that um weird uh flying beast or whatever when it gets set on fire or whatever. That's the only bit that I've seen in this film. Really, 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 really. Um 
but I've been told a lot of good, a lot of great things about this film. So yeah, we're pleased to have this one also. This also might get watched and so might get watched in the next few days. And to finish and to finish up today's lot, because we've still got the stuff down there from the other from the other week, we've got Crawler, which is another movie that I've not that I've not watched. Um or at least I think I haven't seen. I may have seen it and not known what I was watching. So I'll just have to wait and see what happens with this, really. Yeah. So that's that lot. So let's grab the other, grab the other bag. Because there's a... There's a... <laughs> quite a few in here. It's going to be quite a long video, guys. I'm sorry about this. But, you know, if it needs to be done, it needs to be done. I did actually see that in the I just saw one of these in the uh, premium collection yeah, right okay now I've got these all kind of oh <laughs> what do you know um, right yeah okay yeah, I've got these mixed up, guys, so I might I might as well just not sort these out. Um, these are from these are from the Carlisle Carlisle HMV, see Carlisle um, and Carlisle HMV and CEX, and also the Barrow and Furnace CEX as well. So first up, I think. Yeah, this is CX. I think this one came from the one in Carla. I think this one came from the one in. This is the Barrowing Furnace one, if I remember correctly. And we've got here. <laughs> it's why I was. It's why I was having a little chuckle. Which is well, it's the time machine. <laughs> I forgot about this one. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go into this. I'm not going to go into this one because I've already kind of told you something about it already um based on on that time after time um so yeah so the next one i've got uh, the next one i bought was is the new is the new um um ford versus ferrari movie with matt damon and christian bale all the man 66 which is based on the iconic, which again, like I say, is based on the um, is based on the feud between Ford and Ferrari as to who could create a better engine at that particular time. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to watching that because I've not seen it yet. Been told it's really good. Next up, we've got uh, one of the one of the major releases of last. It was actually last week um, that I did this. Um, and I wasn't late to the. I wasn't late to the. I wasn't late to it neither. The four K of Godzilla versus Kong. Um, love this film. This is this film is absolutely amazing. Oh my god, this is the this is right, right up my street. Um, now obviously I put my review of this up onto the channel. If you want, if if you want, go back and go back through my go back through my catalogue of videos you'll find it there it's in the it's in my monster it's in my monsterverse playlist i'll just leave it at that uh and <laughs> just check it out and check out the review for it see what you think of it and drop me a comment let me know what you think of this movie down below godzilla versus kong awesome movie absolutely awesome Few things in there's a few things that 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 didn't quite add up, but those those things I did actually cover in my in my review, in my well, in my initial thoughts review I should say I'm due to do a proper I should really do a proper review of it, um, so I might do one based on what you lot say in the comments. Really, next up we've got next up we've got. Uh, a pretty unusual movie um called splice now people you might have heard, you might have heard of this one guys it stars adrian brody 
and um somebody and Sarah Polly. Um it, this is a bit of an odd one really. I'm, I've not seen this, but the idea behind it is kind of strange. It's kind of strange. It, um the like two scientists that um that bodge um splicing genes together basically and they create a sort of like human hybrid hu half human hybrid of, of different different things and this thing just goes on a rampage or something like that it's nothing really but it's not your typical type of like movie where it goes up it's not your typical type of movie basically this is more this is more sort of like a torn that it's kind of like a torn a torn down version of species it's not glamorized like species was uh, uh like species is from what i from what i can make out from the trailers that i've seen of it anyway um i remember seeing them when the first sort of came out and it didn't and as far as i remember it didn't actually get much attention so i think i'll I think I'll do kind of a retrospect on this at some point. Maybe I'm, I'm not entirely sure. It just depends on what I can get done, really. But that's Splice, everyone. And next up, we've got a movie starring um, a very young Leslie Nielsen and Walter Pigeon and Anne Francis. Forbidden Planet. This is the one that I said that I seen in the premium collection, which I was actually glad that I didn't actually pick up because <laughs> that would that would have uh, I'd have ended up looking like a tit there, wouldn't I? Yeah, um, yeah. Forbidden Planet. Not much to say about this. Not an awful lot to say about this because I've only watched. I think I've only seen about maybe half an hour of the film so i don't really know much more about it really so yeah that's forbidden planet everyone next up we've got a another another black another black another blind buy basically but this is one that uh actually um sounds quite interesting we've got here one missed call uh now for only a quid I thought might as well pick it up if I don't like it I'll just send it back but it, it's got quite a good premise to it it's got quite a good premise to it um it's basically about people getting voicemails they're getting voicemails at the sound of their own deaths basically kind of like it's like a final destination type thing or whatever you know sounds sounds okay I'll give it a go for a and like I say, for a quid, can't go wrong with that. And next, we've got probably the that I, I would probably say the the uh, diamond in the uh, well, same diamond in the rough. I've got, I've got a, I've got the diamond in the rough, which is coming up in three movies in three movies time. So we've got we've got also got here Carrie from Brian De Palma. Um, Stephen King adaptation, probably one of the one of the best ones out there. Um, is the original one from seventy eight, seventy six. Sorry. What can I say? What can I say? Um, <laughs> I always have to check it. Always have to check it. Um, yeah, nineteen the classic from nineteen seventy six. So it was pre the shining was the shot was the shining later i think it was wasn't it i think that was in the 80s i think it was 88 81 something like that but anyway uh yeah carrie um really good really great great movie great movie and it comes with everything comes with everything that uh, you would normally expect from an adult edition it's got the poster here it's got the book it's got the booklet i would say the art cards are probably it's also got the booklet there you can see the art cards will be in with the is uh, in with the the um uh, with the disc in the case obviously but yeah love this movie brilliant brilliant movie he really is and one of them and one of the few movies that stephen king actually likes
the adaptation of. Next up, we've got the movie with Nicolas Cage, which for me was probably one of his one of the best one of his best ones before he went on to when um, he went on to go he went on to go downhill we've got here matchstick men uh, which also stars sam rockwell i love this movie this is a this is this is a really really good movie about con men trying to con con men out <laughs> it's great and it's played on and it's played as a comedy as much as it is like a thriller thriller you could say um but I like it. I like it. Good, really good movie. Really good movie. Next up, we've got last year's Oscar winner, um, which I'm really pleased to have because I honestly I watched this earlier on in the year with a friend of mine through a lockdown, and I was very sort of like envious of because I'm not saying I'm not saying I don't like Korean. I'm not saying I don't like Korean movies, but I. I I've got a. I need to be in a certain mood to watch a movie like like this, you know. And from what I heard, and from what I heard, from what I heard about it, it was a bit. It it's a bit of an oddball, and oddball, yes, it is. But but fantastically written and put together, and we've got here parasite what a movie this is my my god this movie took me through every single emotion you could possibly have you could possibly go through it's absolutely fantastic you'll laugh you'll cry you'll you'll be on the edge of your seat this movie gives it all and it just and it just throws it at you at a hundred miles an hour it's absolutely fantastic i've never i will never watch a film like this ever again i will never ever find another film like this again i don't think this was just it was just absolutely fantastic and directed by bong joon ho who who um actually directed a movie called the host from 2007 um about a creature that comes out of nowhere and takes a little girl uh, and uh, and I, I really enjoyed that film as well. I've not I've not seen it for a number of years now, but I'm looking forward to watching that again because after watching this, I need to watch that film again because that was that was that was really good as well. So yeah, I'm really really pleased to have Parasite in the collection. Also in also in 4K as you can see uh, on the two for thirty. The two for thirty has actually go has actually gone on for quite some time, so it wouldn't surprise me if this is going to be a long running offer in HMV. So, hit, so if you if you if you are a if you are a, if you are a collector, just coming up into in into all of this, it's a really good offer. It's a really good offer. They've got some good titles. They really have got some good titles on offer there. Um, so yeah, that's. That's Parasite, everyone. And next up, we've got. This was. I found this at at, at the Barrow. CEX, and I was really, really surprised to see this. And you would, and if you know, if you know me, if you know me, you think. That because of the director, you would think. That I would have had this already. <laughs> Boy, guys, you are seriously, seriously wrong because I can tell you one thing. If I could tell you one thing about this movie that I didn't know about it, that I didn't know, I would tell you, and I'm about to tell you now. You know, I said I was a big Joe Dante fan. I had no idea that he directed this one. And it's one of my favourite films of all time. And I mean all time. In a space. How is this not in my collection? I do not know. How did I not know that this was that this was a Joe Dante film? I do not know. This must have been the film that started that started my fascination with Joe Dante's films because I had absolutely no idea it was one of his. Absolutely no 
idea it was one of his. And the next one I saw after this was Gremlins. And then and then it and then I saw and then I what then it was the howling and then matinee which absolutely blew my mind which absolutely blew my mind and then there, there was another one after that I can't remember what it might have been piranha actually but this was the very first Joe Dante movie I ever watched and I had no idea it was his so I'm absolutely over the moon to see this and to see it in, in, in its steelbook format as well is even better. Um, so I'll just show you this so that they can see the front. I love that, love, I love this steelbook. This is just awesome steelbook. So you've got the stars there, um, Martin Short, um, Dennis Quaid, Meg Ryan and there we go on the on the back oh, i love it i love, love this steel book so happy to have this film honest honestly i'm so happy to have it but the only the thing is right when i watch this on 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 the tv it's the only only version i know so i do not know what the what what the regular version is like because i've never seen it off the tv i've never seen it away from the TV so it's going to be really interesting for me to see what's been what's been taken out and what's what's been taken out or what's been dubbed or whatever I really do not know so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have an absolute blast with this I can tell you that now <laughs> oh man I don't think you've ever seen me this excited <laughs> right okay two more two more and then we're going to wrap two more then this is going to be wrapped up guys so the next up is the was the second movie on the two for 30 offer along with parasite and we've got here um steven spielberg's war of the worlds with tom cruise um now i've said before that i'm not a big i'm not a huge tom cruise fan but this movie i do actually like excuse me and uh I like it because Tom Cruise didn't get to do his his rewriting thing with this. He, you know, this is Steven Spielberg through and through. Um, it does have obviously it does have its it does have its it does have some flaws, not many, not many, um, but it's a very enjoyable film. Uh, I do prefer the original the the original fifties version of the fifties version of of this of this story but with this this one does actually bring a much a much needed um re it does bring a, a much needed um update to the story and it's to and it's told re and it's told really well it, it, it is it's told really well spielberg did a really good job with this like i said there is a couple of things that were a little bit out out of place but give or take it, it is a good it is a good it is a good watch so that's that's war of the worlds and next up we've got probably one of the most best loved um one of the most best loved british films in 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 british film starring the the great the late great pete possible um and you and you mcgregor in one of his first roles brassed off this film guys i've not saved this for the last the last on per on purpose i haven't it was just it was just at the bottom it just happened to be at the bottom of the pile but this movie is so good it's so so good you if you haven't seen this you really really must watch it and it's basically a it's more or less about um it's about a brass band it's about it's about the people in a brass band that come together in it's just more or less about their about what they do in their everyday lives and what they do to um yeah i'll just read off the back of this just to give you a bit a bit more a better perspective as to what i would normally tell you it's 1992 and the miners of of grimly of grimly color uh, colliery are facing uncertainty not only not only is their pit under threat but the grimly colliery band is on the verge of breaking up that is until gloria tyra fitzgerald 
um, arrives. As the only female member of the band, she somehow manages to rekindle their enthusiasm for the forthcoming national championships, as well as rekindling a childhood romance with Andy Ewan McGregor. So basically it's about this woman that comes and that comes into this brass band that's on the verge of, yeah, basically. That's the whole synopsis of the film. But it's what goes on within, within this movie, surrounding these characters, which makes it such a special film. And I absolutely love it. I really, really do. And and I real and you really and if you have a, if you like films like this and you've not and you've not come across this at all, please, please source it out and watch it because you will you will not be disappointed. You really will not. And Pete Possibly probably one it probably his greatest performance, second to Roland Tembo in the Lost World Jurassic Park. And that's saying something because he's done some very, very good work. He did some very, he portrayed some great characters in his career before he passed away. Uh, so that's brassed off everybody. Um, and that rounds everything, and that pretty much rounds everything up from the, uh, from the last couple of weeks. Thank you so much for joining in. Thanks so much for coming into the video. I really do appreciate it, guys. If you did like the video and you'd like to see more of it, Give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe as well if you like. If you don't want to, that's absolutely fine as well. I really don't mind. Um, and as I've and as I've said a couple of times, um, let me know in the comments what you think of the stuff that I've bought. Quite a lot. It's quite a lot for one video. Um, I don't really like going over. I don't really like going over the half an hour mark. But you know, with a roundup like this. Uh, what can I, there's not really an awful lot more I can do really but anyway yeah like I say if you uh, but like I say I really enjoyed showcasing these because there's some movies there that really do mean a lot to me especially in a space you know that was that was such a that was such a great find out for me uh, and hopefully you could tell that I was really happy that I was really really happy to have that because one of it's just one of those films it's such a great feel good film in the end you know there's just such a good story behind such a good sub story behind it with the love story between Dennis and Meg Ryan's character that kind of thing but anyway yeah um thank you again everyone uh like I said I've, I've already done everything else so I'm just going to pleasantly say thank you so much for tuning in guys and this is Ready Player Movies signing off